standing here next to the Mashpee River woodlands with the Mashpee River to my right, looking up at an osprey nest. They have returned for the spring. I'm here to offer a few comments because I'm very concerned about NSTAR's proposed herbicide spraying throughout 150 miles of their right-of-ways on Cape Cod. Every single town on the Cape is looking at this problem and trying to find a workable solution. What we do not need is more herbicides and pesticides put on our ground that will seep into our groundwater. It's interesting that all 15 towns on the Cape now support a no spray management plan throughout Cape Cod. organic horticulturist. I'm a land care provider and currently NSTAR is uh, proposing to spray uh, a mixture of five different herbicides with a petroleum-based surfactant upon our power lines. We're really concerned about our health here on Cape Cod, realizing our um, animals, our children will be completely affected by this combination. We need uh, help um, from people off of Cape Cod, um, lawyers, press, environmental companies uh, at this point uh, just to help us prevent NSTAR from spraying. So we cannot afford to have any more poisons on the cave. It's about the so-called safety of these poisons. We have over 22,000 pesticides and herbicides in our environment. They're taking a tremendous toll on health. There's really no such thing as a good herbicide or a good pesticide. Um, they're estrogen binders. All the science, all the new science shows that these are dangerous substances. There was once a village along a river. The people who lived here were very kind. These residents, according to Parable, began noticing increasing numbers of drowning people caught in the river's swift current. And so they went to work, devising ever more elaborate technologies to resuscitate them. So preoccupied were these heroic villagers with rescue and treatment that they never thought to look upstream to see who was pushing the victims in. This is a walk up that river. Uh, we think that this film is very relevant to our community as it faces the intentional chemical trespass on privately owned property by the public utility and star.
We don't make any distinction between personal health and environmental health because what's outside eventually makes its way inside. And we provide information on safer alternatives to use and work to eliminate the use of all of these dangerous chemicals and their negative impacts on our health and our environment. The effect of what us Cape Codder people are doing is having an effect on the politicians and to some degree on NSTAR and to some degree on the Mass Highway Department, I found out. They're, they saw what was going on in the newspaper and they said, well, we're not going to start spraying again down there. Though they Light bulbs start turning on. People start turning on. Consciousness will change. I'm not going to do chemicals. And that makes me feel empowered because if I didn't have that, I feel totally hopeless about it. And we didn't put on the pesticides and we didn't use chem lawn or any of those other sort of places. And our neighbors ask us, well, what are you doing? Then you tell those neighbors, that's where the ripple effect starts. Is, is just to continue to um, keep the pressure on because NSTAR is about to merge with uh, uh, Northeast Utilities and um, they are going to be a larger corporation which is going to probably be harder to even get in touch with. So um, we, need to, we just need to keep at it and make sure that, that they hear Cape Codders loud and clear. As related to cancer, that genes are the loaded gun, the environment and lifestyle are the trigger. <laughs>